An MOD assesses a patient transferred from a rural primary care clinic and orders him return to the sending site. The RN supervisor, voicing major concerns, asks to keep the patient overnight for observation. The MOD asks his co-worker, Excuse me, but what medical school did you attend? The patient dies en route. Any highly technical field relies on communication. The accuracy of the communication and the timeliness and those old interpersonal problems that crop up as incivil behavior, they actually harm the process of giving care. An increasingly agitated patient adamantly refuses to complete paperwork until he sees a doctor. The frontline clerk, citing hospital policy, tells the man, No paperwork, no doctor. The crew process teaches us really to stop for a minute and get into our diversity, get into our differences, and then develop a higher level of respect for each other. After a recently hired executive expresses concerns about a policy under discussion, a co-worker pulls her aside and says, We don't challenge each other at these meetings. We play nice here. For me, crew is totally about improving an organization, making it healthier, making it more healthy than it was before. A union representative demands to know why a manager repeatedly decides against the union position. The manager replies, because I can. When employees told us through hundreds of interviews and the all employee surveys that VA does not have a consistently respectful workplace, we listened and crew is our response. Civility, respect and engagement are foundation, not fluff. CREW is one of an array of programs in VHA that falls under the organizational health umbrella. Healthy organizations are places where employees want to work and patients want to receive care. As one mechanism toward growing and sustaining a healthy organization, CREW's goals are to increase awareness of the relationship between civility, business outcomes, and employee satisfaction, provide measurable improvement in civility at the workgroup level, and for key business indicators like patient satisfaction, EEO complaints, sick days, performance, and more. I've been looking for ways to teach my employees about empowerment, and I saw CREW as a tremendous vehicle to show how you can be empowered to take care of your workplace to improve what's going on because it builds uh, understanding between management and rank and file. It sets up common objectives that people can work on together. It teaches people that we can disagree and still be civil and still work at a common goal. It's really a team approach. It's individuals taking responsibility for their issues and it turns blame into respect and attempt to solve problems. The purpose of the CREW program was to improve the working relationships among the multidisciplinary team and I thought it would be a very good idea for my um, residents to participate in that program. We're all humans, we're all on the same playing field. Let's talk about what's happening and you walk in my shoes for a mile and I'll walk in your shoes for a mile and, and hopefully when we get to the end of that mile will have a better appreciation for who you are and what you have to do and who I am and what I have to do. I was actually really surprised look, after being in the uh, VA system for 25 years. What do you think we should do to uh, narrow his problem down or completely eliminate it? This was a concrete program that would bridge the gap between uh, management and employees and problems throughout the department and particularly our hospital that we're able to come to some concrete solutions solved by those who participated in it every day. What really surprised me and, and I'm, I'm just so impressed with is the power of simple dialogue and communication. You know, and that's really the basic principle involved in, in CREW. CREW is another tool to help demonstrate uh, that servant heart and that, that servant's attitude. You need to have champions for this program, people who really believe in it. I do have that at Heinz. In fact, we are rolling it out. I now have 
173 people involved in crew. I've got 17 facilitators. We intend to do the entire hospital. The other thing that I think is key is we've had full engagement by top management from the director, the associate director, chief of staff on down and the workers see that when they see top management living it as well. Crew programs often start out with a kickoff event designed to educate and motivate employees about the program and its goals. Designed by those involved, these events may include anything from learning fairs to friendly competitions and more. Well, what we wanted to do is we wanted to have a kickoff where people could be interactive. I think it worked well. I think it got people engaged, it got them laughing, it got them talking. After the kickoff, participants attend frequent ongoing meetings to learn new skills and to work together to overcome challenges and capitalize on opportunities. Everybody in that section is in the crew meeting. The boss is there, the frontline worker is there, and they're all part of the crew. And I have to give management their kudos on that. They had to make time for that. We usually had 80 to 90 percent participation. You always have the few that no matter what you do, they'll never be happy. And that's fine. We respect that. That's what crew is about. But um, it's funny how sometimes even that 20 percent that doesn't want to jump on board, even though they may sit in the back, next minute you know they're up there in the front giving you their opinion and they're engaged. And then the next minute, they're the cheerleaders. When it gets to the point where they start reinforcing their own rules, then as facilitator, you can just kind of sit back a little bit. You know, kind of like a proud parent and say, I see that they're growing in this because now they're taking responsibility for it. And if you can get them doing that, they have an ownership for it. The meetings were phenomenal. And the message came across that if we can work together like this with each other, think what we can do for Jesse Brown VA with the vets. One of the biggest offshoots from it is the huddle, which is at the beginning of every shift, we take five to 15 minutes to talk about our day, to see what's important that day, to see who's missing, how we're gonna fill in, cross cover for one another, and just discuss it. The key to crew is it's not just that one meeting or that two meetings where it's all right, we're gonna, we're gonna get together and we're gonna be civil to each other and we're gonna respect each other. It's really, we initiate it, get you thinking about some of the issues and you carry it on as a work group from there on out. Most people look at customer dissatisfaction as how we treat our patient, not how we treat the fellow employee. So what we do is I continue to try and reinforce the, the crew as it rolls out in my customer service training with, with the new employee orientation. Do civility and respect among co-workers improve business outcomes in areas like job satisfaction, attendance, complaints, and performance? According to many crew participants, the answer is a resounding yes. People are happier coming to work and staying at work. They're not spending their time trying to think about how they're gonna work around somebody, or they're not spending their time thinking about that they wanna go someplace else. So crew is just an opportunity to be part of shaping how their organization works. Oh, it makes me want to come to work. I enjoy coming to a place where you're felt that you're respected. People are not raising their voices and being angry. They're thinking before they're speaking. They're thinking before they're acting. And a lot of our supervisors said after they finished with crew that it gave them a chance to do a self-inventory about how they were perceived and things about themselves that they could change or they could do differently. The scores on the um, uh, employee satisfaction have gone up in the areas that have been um, already uh, received crew training, but I am now having other services come forward and say, we see what's going on in those services, we want to be part of that. A healthy organization is a happy organization. And if you're happy in your job, then it's going to relate to everything you do. It's going to relate to our the people we serve, the people we work with, and our everyday lives. Do improvements in the way we treat each other translate into improvements in the way we treat our patients? It is contagious. The, the crew program is very contagious. The presence of civility 
has a drastically increasing multiplier effect. When people are treated well, they treat other people better, they treat the patients better, uh, they have a sense of self-worth. I think my primary care doctors liked it because they became a solid unit. They were able to open lines of communications with each other. They were able to expand that into their clinical setting and they were able to work well with the nurses and the PSAs. Nursing is a very tough profession with the crew. We learned how other people saw us and we learned how to take the different qualities from each other and make the floor work as a unit. I just think it totally made it easier for the nurses to work together. I think the stress level is probably much less on the floor when the nurses are getting along and understanding each other, showing each other respect there. Therefore, you know, the patients feel respected also. VHA data has found strong correlations between civility, job satisfaction, employee retention, EEO complaints, sick leave, and patient satisfaction. What will I tell all employees about this program? That it works. It works. It gives you a better understanding of your co-workers. Before, it was kind of like being out in the desert, trying to find my way, trying to find a connection to, uh, like, like bringing both sides together, you know. You don't have little fires to put out. <laughs> you don't have the um, backbiting or the bickering. And I think when people are happier to come to work, it makes my job a lot easier because we're here to help the veteran. And I want the veteran to be the focal point, you know, of this. I would say to anyone that no matter how good your program is or how good you think it is, it could be better. And if you fully engage with crew, it will be better. This is a family-grown method of improving your work environment. And when you improve your work environment, the quality of what we do is improved. Our costs go down. Our employees are happier. The patients get better care. It's a no-brainer to me. The crew initiative is important because all that we do is relationship-based. And if we're paying attention to people and watering people like flowers, they bloom. And our patients benefit from that effort. I like that one myself. You know that? Uh, <laughs>